background, everything looks great. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, you said that this is probably one of the biggest events you've been associated with. Great top three. Amazing. I mean, you, know, you come here, well, when you're in your own country and you're doing shows for 10 years and you're doing Wembley and Millennium Stadium, it's, it's amazing. But to come into this market, especially off the back of COVID, you know, this is the biggest live event since the pandemic in the US. This is the biggest indoor event of all time in US boxing history. So, you know, for me, I'm very proud to put this on. I can't wait for the fight. You've seen the atmosphere out there already just for the weigh-in. You imagine 70,000 people in here tomorrow night. It's going to be it's going to be incredible. I have a big imagination, but not <laughs> as big. Uh, I remember how much work you had with uh, fighting Riyadh. Yeah. The second fight yeah. with uh, Anthony Joshua. How much work it was. Uh, and I know also here AT&T, Dallas Cowboys, everyone from the organization was helping you. Uh, how important was this help? I mean, firstly, Jerry Jones with the vision. You know, of course, we were all of a sudden allowed extra capacity up to 70,000. And now... This is what I heard. Yeah, that was, that was through Jerry Jones pushing it, his support, his team here. Now, this is one of the best stadiums and arenas in the world. So they've done an incredible job. Of course, it's a lot easier when you're working with Canelo because he's a huge star. You know, and, and obviously you can't just put on a great fight and get 70,000 like that. It has to come via Canelo. But Billy Joe Saunders has played a huge part in that as well because he's played the game, he's been the villain. You know, and tomorrow night they meet. Uh, from time to time, you also played the villain from the from the Saunders part. Yeah. You represented both guys. That's very difficult. I mean, yeah. yeah very it's difficult because, you know, Saunders feels like I'm favoring Canelo. Then I have to go to Canelo about the ring. Like, you just, you can't win. Either way, so my job is to put the fight on, to give the fighters the opportunity. I've done that, the rest is up to them, so we'll see a great fight on Saturday. How do you keep from being a fan? No, you must always stay a fan. You must always stay a fan because that's the love for the sport, you know, because otherwise it becomes business and business is boring. Business is about numbers and we have to focus on that as well, but you have to do it for the love. You know, you have to turn up here tomorrow. Even coming here now, going to the weigh-in, you know, the, the hairs on my arms are standing up because that and that's what life's about, isn't it? Those 5,000 people screaming, Eddie, I know, Eddie. I know. <laughs> in England, they'll all be booing. So I'm going to stay right here in Dallas. Uh, the last question, uh, Tyson Fury is here. Yes. Um, is it mean we're going to have some kind of announcement or he's here to just... Well, not be, just yeah, he, might, he might announce. I mean, I think a lot of the broadcasts <laughs> oh, yeah, involved do. would like to do it together, but... We're, we're not far away now. You're, you're definitely getting that fight next. Um, and yeah, maybe Tyson will announce tomorrow. We probably won't, but it won't be long. It will certainly be early next week. Thank you very much. Very busy, Eddie Hurd. Thank you.